You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. In the presence of the first deputy chairman of the Spring Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and the president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputy president of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club today held the 15th race for the season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. The race was held over the cups of the Bahrain Jewelry Center, the Porsche Cups sponsored by Behbahani Motors, the Chevron Cup, the the Irish Company for Horse Marketing Cup and the Rashid Club Equestrian and Horse Racing Cup. The winners of the race were honoured as His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chevron Cup from Khalid Hijazi, representative of Chevron Company, and His Highness also received the Irish Company for Racing Horse Cup from the Executive Director of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, following the victory of the two horses, Abyan 1777 and Bichon Pignal, for the stable KHK Racing, taking first place in the first and eighth rounds. His Honor Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Bahrain Jewelry Center Cup for the fifth round from the Managing Director of the Bahrain Jewelry Center, Mr. Ahmed Shirazi, after his horse Alejandro won first place in the fifth round while Ahmed Shirazi presented the Porsche Cup for the sixth round to the winning owner, Sultan bin Shreem, while the Managing Director of Behbahani Motors Company, Abbas Shirazi, presented the Porsche Cup for the third round to the winning owner, Ibrahim Al Afu, and the Porsche Cup for the fourth round to the winner, Sami Saloum. Then the executive director of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the Club Cup to the winning owner, Ahmed Al Sayrafi. The Information Affairs Minister and Board of Trustees Chairman of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIDP, Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi, has extended his deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 20th anniversary of the National Action Charter's endorsement. In statements to the News Center, the Minister said that the endorsement of the National Action Charter was the beginning of a new era of reforms, modernization, sustainable development, as well as media and knowledge creativity within a modern constitutional monarchy. The Minister also said that the NAC was the fruitful outcome of a pioneering royal initiative and an unprecedented popular consensus in a historic referendum approved by an overwhelming majority of 98.4% of the citizens, adding that its endorsement was a defining moment and a bright phase that led to the establishment of the state of law and constitutional institutions that support democratic work. Aramehe asserted that since the popular consensus on the NAC, Bahrain has strengthened its status as a pioneering model for democratic transformation and respect for human rights as well as political and civil freedoms on top of which are the press and media freedoms and the freedom to express one's opinion within the context of an integrated system to protect public freedoms. He noted that this is supported by the presence of the Shura and Representative Councils, a fair and independent judiciary, and effective institutions to promote the human rights culture, the basis of enlightened democratic practices and the values of good citizenship, such as the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the National Institute for Human Rights, and the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. The Information Minister affirmed that BIPD's continuous role in supporting the sustainable democratic and 
and Development March and consolidating the values of tolerance and national unity in addition to supporting the tireless efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to continue delivering educational services remotely and raising societal awareness on the precautionary measures to confront the novel coronavirus pandemic. The Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Ahmed bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad and the National Bank of Bahrain signed an agreement to join the sponsors of the initiative of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to build courts in different neighborhoods and villages of the kingdom. On this occasion, Al Mu'ayyad stressed the importance of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's initiative, noting that the ministry is keen in on developing the youth and sports infrastructure in the kingdom. He also said that the ministry was looking forward to working with the National Bank of Bahrain to achieve the goals set by His Highness Sheikh Nasser for this initiative. For for his part, the chairman of the board of directors of the National Bank of Bahrain said that the bank is keen on supporting the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser that are aimed at promoting the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, especially to build courts across the neighborhood of the kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia's attempt to target Abha International Airport in the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia through the use of an explosives-laden drone. It described the attempt as a cowardly terrorist act that targets the lives of innocent people and civilian facilities and constitutes a flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs praised the vigilance of the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen in intercepting and destroying the drone and reiterated the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain that supports the relentless efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and confronting such dangerous terrorist acts. Infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Manaf al Gahtani, highlighted the importance of taking extra precautions in light of the prevalence of a variant COVID-19 strain more highly transmissible than the initial COVID-19 strain. Dr. al Gahtani noted that vaccines are safe and effective in preventing the spread of the virus as well as preventing serious complications from COVID-19 if infected. Dr. al Gahtani further reiterated the importance for all to register for the vaccine to protect individuals their families and the community. Dr. Gahtani underlined the importance of supporting mitigation efforts and strictly following all precautionary measures advised by the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus and other relevant authorities, in particular given the prevalence of the variant strain. He noted the precautionary measures issued previously are the same measures that must be followed to combat the variant. He also emphasized that the variant strain from the UK has been detected in most of the current active cases, adding that the elderly are at the greatest risk from the variant, noting that symptoms appear at a later stage. Dr. Gahtani further emphasized the importance of taking greater precautions when interacting with the elderly or those who have chronic diseases even within the same household. Dr. Gahtani asserted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is the only country that requires incoming passengers to undergo a second PCR test 10 days after arrival and data does not indicate that the recent increase in numbers is due to travel. In this respect, he highlighted that over 250,000 contact tracing figures have indicated that most of the current cases are linked to the family and private gatherings. Dr. Gahtani concluded by stressing the importance of staying away from gatherings and limiting gatherings to individuals of the same household and immediate social circle in addition to getting vaccinated and strictly following all the precautionary measures and regulations issued by the task force and relevant authorities. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health has called on people wishing to take the Russian Sputnik vaccine to register via the ministry's website, healthalert.gov.bh, or Be Aware Bahrain application. The vaccination drive against COVID-19 virus is going on with the aim of protecting people's safety to reviving up the immunity system through vaccinations. The Ministry of Health noted with the Kingdom's authorization of the emergency use of Sputnik vaccine, which is produced by the Russian Health Ministry's Gamalia Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology. Bahrain has approved the use of the fourth vaccine after Sinopharm, Pfizer, BioNTech and CovShield. All vaccines are provided to citizens and residents free of charge. The ministry pointed out that after electronic registration, the registrants will be contacted by sending a text message to the contact number on the website to fix the date and place of receiving their first dose. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached 232,540. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,039 active cases, with 627 recoveries and 896 registered new cases. 370 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 515 were contacts of active cases, and 11 were travel-related. The Ministry also registered two deaths. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.